In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to force your users to use multi-factor authentication through Entra ID whenever they're connecting to your FortiGate SSL VPN. Now, in my previous video, we set up the connector for a SAML SSO uh, for your users to connect and authenticate with Entra ID to be able to connect to the VPN. In this step, we're going to force them to use the two-factor push every single time that they go to connect to VPN. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to portal.azure.com and the search bar at the top, you're going to search for conditional Microsoft Entra conditional access. And then from here, you're going to go to policies. And if you're already using Microsoft Entra ID and Azure AD, and you are already kind of managing the environment, you probably will have some conditional access policies already in here. But for the sake of this demonstration, we're going to act like you have no conditional access policies, or maybe they're very specific and you want to create a very specific policy for your FortiGate VPN users. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go up here and we're going to go to the top and we're going to click new policy. Okay. And we're just going to call this FortiGate uh, VPN force to FA. And then for users, you can go ahead and select, actually, you know what? We're going to leave users blank for now because our users should be in our enterprise application. We're going to go ahead and select on the target resources. So we're going to click that and then we're going to select resources and under select, we're going to click none. And then here is where you're going to search for the enterprise application that you created. Right. So whatever you named your enterprise application for your VPN users to connect to, you're going to search for it here. This is mine. This is what I called it. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and hit select. So at this point, this conditional access policy should only be associated with this enterprise application. So it shouldn't impact any other thing else we have going on. And then at the bottom, I'm going to move my face here. I'm going to go ahead and toggle this on. And then. Or the last thing that we need to do is for access controls, we need to go to grant and we went to grant access here at the top and require multi-factor authentication and select that. And then actually there's one other thing that we need to do for the session. We're going to click on session and we want to click on sign in frequency and we want to do it for every time user connects. So every time a user connects to VPN, we want them to be prompted with that two factor code. And you can, you can choose periodic and that might be a little bit easier for your users. However, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and leave it as every time. Okay. And you can see here uh, for prompting users for re-authentication can occur, but I'm okay with that. I, I want every time that my user connects to my VPN, especially because we're using SSL VPN, I want them to use the two factor. So make sure that the policy is on and go ahead and click create. And we should be able to see our policy. We might need to refresh the page. All right, FortiGate VPN force two factor. Perfect. All right, so the next thing that we want to do is there's one setting that we need to kind of alter on the FortiGate. And this pertains to the amount of time that the user has to accept the multi factor prompt once they receive it on their phone. Uh, so by default, I think it's actually very short. It's, I think it's like five seconds. So if you set this up and you don't change this setting on your FortiGate, you might have users saying, or when you're testing, you might be like, oh, I only have like five seconds to push the notification and then it goes away and I can't connect. There's this one setting that we have to change here. So let's do this. It's called remote off, remote off timeout. So it's in your global settings. So config system global. And if we go a show full, we grab remote off. You can see mine is set to 60 which is 60 seconds, but I want to say by default, it's only set to five seconds. So in your case, you would do config system global, 
and then you do set remote off timeout 60. And that should give your users 60 seconds to approve the authentication push to their phone. So at this point in my past video, we've already set up the SAML SSO connection. In this video, we're forcing our users to be prompted with that two-factor code every time, and we're giving them enough time to get the prompt, put in the number, and use their fingerprint or however they have it set up. I hope this was helpful for you, and I'll see you in the next video.